Hey guys, so I haven't done a video in a little while, um, maybe about a week or so, uh, and I really wanted to do a video for um, Young Moms Unite, and I've done a couple now, um, but there's a new topic now, and the new topic is diapers, and I did actually do a diaper review maybe a couple months ago, and I'll pimp the link for that below. Um, but I just thought I would do this topic too. So um, the topic is just diapers, very general. Um, and it's basically like, what do you like if your baby has allergies? Um, and whatnot, I guess. So um, I've tried a number of different diapers and I definitely have my favorites. Um, right off the bat, I have to say that my absolute favorite is definitely um, Pampers Swaddlers. Um, the diapers that I've tried are, um, I've tried Huggies, I've tried Huggies Movers, I think that's called, I think that's what it's called, um, and I guess those are different, maybe. Um, I'm not too familiar with Huggies because I've only tried it a few times, um, but I've tried those two, I think, and then I've tried Pampers Baby Dry, Pampers Swaddlers, and Pampers Cruisers. Um, out of all of them, my favorite is definitely Pampers Swaddlers. Um, and then I would have to say, oh, the other one is Pampers Sensitive. So there's Pampers Sensitive, Swaddlers, Baby Dry, and Cruisers. So my favorites are Swaddlers, and then the next would be probably Swa um, Pampers Sensitive, and then the next would be Pampers uh, Cruisers, and then the next would be Pampers Baby Dry. Um, I'll just tell you a little bit about my experience with each of these diapers. Um, for one, the reason, the main reasons why I prefer um, Pampers over Huggies is mainly because I find that even when I'm using a diaper that does fit her and it is her size with Huggies, um, I find that, let me just see, I'm just going to look in here, okay, here we go. Good, I have one of each. Okay, so I have a Pampers here and a Huggies here, and I have a couple of these Huggies left over because they were really cheap and I decided to buy them last time. Um, but now I have, I'm using Pampers again. So basically I'll just show you the, the Huggies. On the back of the Huggies, there's kind of just this stretchy band across the back, which is great because it's really, really stretchy. Um, and then this is obviously the front. I'll tell you what I really, really don't like about these diapers. What I really don't like is that this front part that's supposed to wrap around the front, and obviously like these tabs come around the front, you guys know. Um, what I really don't like about Huggies is that this doesn't really seem to be, um, this part doesn't really seem to be um, very long and it's not stretchy this part and these parts don't really seem like tabs it's just kind of like an extension of this part um, whereas you compare it to if you compare it to Pampers this is way wider and with any size it doesn't matter if it's you know if, even if the diaper is too small this part is really wide and it's actual tabs here and when you wrap it around your baby these tabs go all the way and overlap with the tabs that go in the front, if that makes any sense. So when I wrap these around Ava, it goes all the way, and then these tabs go all the way in the front, and there's no gaps on the side. With Huggies, though, there's a huge gap, and it doesn't matter if the diaper is too big or too small. It's just how the diapers fit, and I really, really don't like that, because when you do, you know, like, wrap this part around, there ends up being, like, behind this part, there ends up being a huge, huge gap, like an inch gap or so on either side. And I really don't like that because even if, like I said, even if the diaper is their size, um, it still doesn't really fit very properly. And I just don't like the cut of Huggies, basically, um, to put it simply. So I really, really like Pampers. And this is, these are actually Pampers Cruisers, which is the first time I've used these. And these I like. Um, a lot, but again, I do like swellers better. Um, I will say that Pampers diapers are so soft, especially the sensitive ones. Those are very soft, but any any Pampers diapers, they're incredibly soft. I love them. 
I love that the pampers come up really high in the back, whereas Huggies I've found, um, I'm curious, let's see, um, yeah, like if I match up, if I match up these two diapers, the Huggies one in the back, I'm not going to do it on camera because it's not really going to work, but um, the Huggies, even if it's the same size and it's supposed to be for the same weight bracket, um, the Huggies is always a tiny, tiny little bit shorter which I find makes a huge difference. Um, so I really like how far back, far up the Pampers diapers go. Um, I've never ever had a problem with leaking with any Pampers diapers, any of the four that I've tried, except for Baby Dry. I will say I don't like Baby Dry. Um, I just found that the, those diapers were really, really thin, and um, I just really, really didn't like them. I would actually buy Huggies over the Baby Dry. So. Um, yeah, I, I try and buy swaddlers every time unless there's other diapers that seem to be a lot cheaper, but, um, my absolute favorite are definitely swaddlers. Um, what else? Ava hasn't really had any issues with any of the diapers. Um, I really did want to cloth diaper, um, but seeing as I live in an apartment, it would be too expensive. I went to a cloth diaper workshop actually when I was pregnant. Um, and it was a couple weeks before she was due, I think, and um, they basically said that if you're cloth diapering, you should expect to be washing your cloth diapers every two days. And when I'm washing my sheets, my towels, my clothes, her clothes, uh, you know, if you mix in cloth diapers with all of that, I mean, not literally, but um, if you take into consideration the price for all of that, my laundry is a dollar for a wash and a dollar for a dry, but it really adds up because I do do her laundry quite often. So I um, was trying to weigh the pros and cons of cloth diapering versus disposables, and it would just be too expensive. But I have been looking into a cloth diapering service. Um, it's actually called Hi Happy Island Diapers, and it's on Vancouver Island here. And um, you pay $25 a week, and they show up once a week and they give you a huge bag of clean diapers and they take your soiled ones and you get a diaper pail and all that and it doesn't smell and um, I've been thinking about it, I just have to consider like how much it's going to cost and if it's really worth it. Um, and yeah, it's, it's kind of frustrating how expensive diapers are, I mean I really think they should be free if not cheaper. Um, but anyways, that's my spiel on diapers and um, yeah, I've been thinking of trying other kinds, but I think I'm just going to stick with um, Pampers Swallows. So let me get, let me know what your favorite diapers are. Um, if you don't like Swallows, let me know what you like instead. Um, I would love to see some comments below on what works for your baby, because every baby's different. Um, and yeah, so don't forget to subscribe and like it the video if, if you do like it. And um, I hope to um, maybe try cloth diapering in the near future. And if I do, then I'll let you guys know what's going on with that. Um, I mean, Ava's going to be in diapers for at least a couple years. So um, maybe at some point I will do cloth diapering, and I'm so excited to. So, yeah, I hope you guys have a great morning, evening, afternoon, and uh, yeah, don't forget to let me know what you guys are using. See ya. Bye.